Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adman. In this video, we are going to explore the features of the selection plan in Microsoft All Day Desktop. So let's get started. If you go to this one view tab and we have the selection pane, so click on this, it will open up the selection pane. You have two options here layer order and tab order. What is the layer order? Each individual is a layer. So in this case, I have seven visuals within seven layers order. If you want to hide or show all these visuals in visible here, if you want to hide any of these ones, like I want to hide the logo, so logo will not disappear. Click it again, it will show the logo. So you can hide and show the visuals from this selection plan. And also, just in case, I have this visual. And this visual. And I just want to below to this one. Click on this visual, it is on the number 3. And if I click on this one, I won't be able to select this one all from it. If you look at the layer alignment, the first one is a slice, segment slicer. The next one is a called all access slicer. The third one is a region slicer. So when compared to this one, called all from it and region slicer, the region slicer is on top of the called from it slicer. So you can't able to access this map because region slicer is on top of this. If you want to access the summit words like that, you just need to click on this one and move it to the top. Just clicking the selection tab and moving it to the top of the screen structure. Now if you click on this one, you are able to access the words like and also the region structure like because the area of the region structure like is larger than the color structure. Like Also, say for example, you have this visual overriding to each visual. You are not able to access this one or so please to it because the card usually is on top of the region visual. If you reset this one, the card visual, I can now able to access the selection of the slicer region. In short, each visual is a layer and you need to align the layer I mean you need to align the visual to make sure it works perfectly as per your requirement. The next one is the tab order. So this is in general we have a tab like we use in other applications. In the series 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 results we have so, so click on this one this is the third one click on this one this is the fourth one even this is not the correct one so click on the blank area and you click on the tab you can mark this window tab tab and the tab so first it goes to all access and then segment slicer and then all selected in the card visual and then all some card visual and then the region slicer and then the head and then the logo. So this is the sequence what we are looking for. If you want to change the sequence, I just need to click on the tab order in the selection pane. And the logo, I think logo should be on the top. I am just naming the logo top. And the heading should be on the second one. And the sum x slicer should be the third one. And all of this is the fourth. And all will show all selected in the fifth and the uh, region on the fifth and this on the seventh. Even you can disable this one tab order and just clicking on this one. So it disable this one, even I just want to disable the heading. But you want to move, I just want to move on the main visuals, not on the heading on the logo. 
so i'm just clicking on any blank page and use the tab so tab 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 so first it comes to this one comment and then accept all the then next to the record user and then also the record user and then region and then segment the conclusion of this video is the selection chain has two options layer order and tab order layer is nothing but the visuals available in this case each visual is a layer and we need to name the visuals in such a way that it will never overwrite each other okay so that users will have an easy access to all the visuals wherever necessary whereas in tab order it also has a list of visuals available in this case and we need to set the tab order so that when user click on the tab instead of using the mouse if you use the keyboard you press the tab button the keyboard will go from one visual to another visual smoothly from left to right as how you declare on that hope you understand this one selection chain in this short video if you like this video click on the big thumbs up button and share with your friends and colleagues if you are new to this channel please don't forget to click on the thumbs up button also press the bell icon to get the latest notification on your device but make sure you turn on the notification if you have any queries feedback comments please comment below thanks for watching keep learning and see you in the next video